The term Charters of Freedom is used to describe the three documents in early American history which are considered instrumental to its founding and philosophy. These documents are the United States Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. While the term has not entered particularly common usage, the room at the National Archives building in Washington, D.C. that houses the three documents is called the Rotunda for the Charters of Freedom. The National Archives preserves and displays the texts in massive, bronze framed, bullet proof, moisture controlled sealed display cases in a rotunda style room by day and in multi ton bomb proof vaults by night. The Charters of Freedom are flanked by Barry Faulkner's two grand murals, one featuring Thomas Jefferson amidst the Continental Congress, the other centering on James Madison at the Constitutional Convention. Alongside the Charters of Freedom is a dual display of the Formation of the Union, which is documents related to the evolution of the U.S. government from 1774 to 1791. These include Articles of Association 1774, Articles of Confederation 1778, Treaty of Paris 1783, and Washington's First Inaugural Address 1789. Topic: History of the Documents. Topic: Declaration of Independence. Topic. Constitution At first there was little interest in the parchment object itself. James Madison had custody of it as Secretary of State 1801 but having left Washington, D.C., he had lost track of it in the years leading to his death. A publisher had access to it in 1846 for a book on the Constitution. In 1883, historian J. Franklin Jameson found the parchment folded in a small tin box on the floor of a closet at the State, War and Navy Building. In 1894 the State Department sealed the Declaration and Constitution between two glass plates and kept them in a safe. The two parchment documents were turned over to the Library of Congress by executive order, and in 1924, President Coolidge dedicated the bronze and marble shrine for public display of the Constitution at the library's headquarters. The parchments were laid over moisture absorbing cellulose paper, vacuum sealed between double panes of insulated plate glass, and protected from light by a gelatin film. Although building construction of the archives building was completed in 1935, in December 1941 they were moved from the Library of Congress and stored at the U.S. Bullion Depository, Fort Knox, Kentucky, until September 1944. In 1951, following a study by the National Bureau of Standards to protect from atmosphere, insects, mold and light, the parchments were re-encased with special light filters, inert helium gas and proper humidity. They were transferred to the National Archives in 1952. Since 1952, the Charters of Freedom have been displayed in the rotunda of the National Archives building. Visual inspections have been enhanced by electronic imaging. Changes in the cases led to removal from their cases in July 2001, preservation treatment by conservators, and installment in new encasements for public display in September 2003. <laughs> <laughs> Original errata During its first century, the parchment, copy of the Constitution, was not directly viewed for public purposes, and most of the penned copies sent to the states are lost, but on inspection of one of the remaining copies held at the National Archives, there is an apparent spelling error in the original parchment constitution, in the so-called export clause of Article 1, Section 10 on page 2, where the possessive pronoun its appears to be spelled with an apostrophe, turning it into its. However, the letters T and S are connected, and the mark interpreted as an apostrophe is somewhat inconspicuous. Different U.S. government sources have transcribed this phrase with and without the apostrophe. The spelling Pennsylvania is used in the list of signatories at the bottom of page 4 of the original document. Elsewhere, in Article 1, Section 2, the spelling that is usual today, Pennsylvania, is used. However, in the late 18th century, the use of a single N to spell Pennsylvania was common usage. The Liberty Bell's inscription, for example, uses a single N. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Bill of Rights. Topic: 
Formation of the Union documents The «Formation of the Union» display contains documents related to the evolution of the U.S. government from 1774 to 1791. Topic: Articles of Association, 1774. Topic: Articles of Confederation, 1778. Topic: Treaty of Paris, 1783. Washington's inaugural address.